After visiting with students, Catherine made a trip over to Town Hall to meet with town government officials and also Boston Athletic Association Chief Executive Officer Thomas Grill. The question of women being included in this event and a great many other events is thankfully almost a non-issue these days. 46% uh, of the field last year was women in our other shorter races it's greater than 50%. Uh, when I look generally, generationally at the likes of my children, late 20s, they don't see gender, they don't see race, they don't see religion, they just see other people. And it's the work that I did and Catherine did years ago that got that started. This is something we just named the uh, elementary school, the new elementary school, the uh, Marathon Elementary School. So uh, I don't think there's anybody in the that's preserving one of the ages that you coming out for. <laughs> you know, I spend a lot of time in this room with my colleagues, John Catino, Claire Wright, and Brandon Tedstone. We're only missing one of the five selected today, so that is how important you are. We actually have a forum here. Uh, <laughs> lawyers will be in touch soon. Um, but thank you all for coming today. This is a great event. Uh, as I said, I spent a lot of time here, and I spent a lot of time actually running the marathon over the years, too. And I generally don't get nervous for stuff like this. But I am nervous today because I am standing next to Catherine Switzer. And uh, I've heard the story a million times. I watched the video earlier today. It's really cool. It's an awesome story. And we're just so honored to have you in town here today. Uh, we're excited for the marathon this year. Uh, I'm excited for the marathon this year for different reasons, I think. But. Uh, you're going to have a great run. You've got some colleagues who are going to help you get all the way into Boston. And uh, you're made, you made a huge difference 50 years ago, and you're going to reaffirm that this year. And you're an inspiration to my wife, my daughter, our kids, the children of Hopkinton, and the children all across Massachusetts and the country. So welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you and uh, best wishes on Marathon Monday. I hope you crack that five-hour month. Thank, Thank you so much. much. Thank you. here we'd like to present to you today. This does not come with a tax bill. Uh, the town of Hopkinton and the Hopkinton Board of Selectmen do hereby proclaim Catherine Switzer an honorary citizen of Hopkinton, Massachusetts, USA. Signed under our hand and seal this 22nd day of March 2017. Brian Herr, Chair, John Tino, Vice Chair, Claire Wright, Todd Sestari, and Brendan Headstone. Welcome to Hopkinton and no taxes to come. The Hopkins Marathon Committee works hand in hand with the BAA to help coordinate the start of the marathon. But it's things like this that really are inspiring to so many of us women, men, everybody, children to have such an iconic, legendary runner that has really made a mark on women's running. It's just amazing what you've done over the years, Kathy. And we are just so happy to have you here today to share this. Day and uh, I know you have a couple other things planned today, but we're just really, on behalf of the Hopkins Marathon Committee, I know that you were fond of the All Star Tear song, so we have this show for you. Oh, okay. <laughs> I've run three Boston marathons, and it's um, <laughs> a gift and a half it's to stand out for one of the highlights of my life. And I thank you for that and the role that it played in my daughter's lives to watch me do this, and it's inspired them and made them, um, I think, see what's possible and not even think that a female can do that. Um, and the reason that I'm here, Tim asked me to be my daughter, is <clears throat> a freshman in college in Maris, but she's doing her year abroad in Florence, Italy. And she's an artist and a fashion design major. Oh, how beautiful! The Sitco sign! The Sitco sign, a mile from the finish. Oh, and there's Hopkins and all-star sign. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. So this year is the year I'm going to run to celebrate that 50th anniversary. It's grown, thanks to the BAA, into something much bigger uh, with 261 Fearless. Uh, uh, but it's going to be an astonishing experience. It is. The marathon is always an astonishing experience. Um, and uh, again, from the bottom of my heart, it's a journey. The 261 journey, um, 
I probably won't see the fruition. This is the first time I've ever done a project and I might not see the fruition of it. Uh, probably I won't see fruition of it in the hugest scope in my lifetime. Um, maybe I will, but what I have seen in my lifetime in the last 50 years, oh my God, it's just unbelievable to go from that girl who the Fisher tried to throw out of the race to see this race almost 50-50, to see so many women empowered and joyful, and it began here with you guys, you guys, I mean, this town, making it happen. It's just been phenomenal. Um, in the next 50 years, I am very, very optimistic about it. I'm very optimistic. I think that this town will continue to change women's lives globally, um, and I think 261 is going to make it happen.